What's up everyone, this is Lance with Indie Filmmaking and today I'm going to show you how to set up a very quick multi-cam sequence in Adobe Premiere CC. Um, this is just going to be a very quick, simple tutorial. I'm going to make a more in-depth one later on, um, but here's a really quick one. Alright, so I have one track by uh, Zach Jones and uh, we did several takes to this one audio track. So here is four different, you know, two takes with uh, four different camera angles. So what I'm going to do is start off with a new sequence, so File, New, and Sequence. Um, the footage is 1920 by 1080, uh, 24 frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and name this Multi-Cam Tut. Alright, so now that I got my sequence here, um, I'm going to go back to the audio track up here. Uh, what I like to do is just zoom all the way in until I can get a good clean audio spike. Um, this just so happens to be right in the beginning, so just keep zooming in with the plus or minus key or right down here. Um, so I'm going to use my arrow keys until I get, you know, roughly right where it starts. So I'm going to go ahead and set an end point there. And now I just want to simply drag the audio from here down into my uh, sequence. Um, right now I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just going to let it kind of you know, float around that way. I got a little room here in the beginning to work with. All right. So now I have my audio track in here. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is save a little time and add tracks. Um, since I got four takes, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give myself four more tracks. Same with the audio. Just give me plenty of room to work with. I'm going to take the audio, drag it down. Um, I know this is right where it starts. So let's just go ahead and set a, you know, a marker on this right here. Sorry, that put one over here. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and go to my first camera take. Um, let's just go ahead and watch it really quick. Um, just stroll until we... Alright. We did clap, but for this sake, I'm just going to look at the audio. Okay, right there is where it starts, so let's look at the audio. I'm going to zoom all the way in. Play it really quick. Okay, so the song starts right here. We get it. All right, right there. Set it in point. Go back to the video. I'm gonna grab the video now. That way, it brings everything with it. I'm gonna set this down in here. I just like to have the audio just for reference later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute it. Let's just go ahead and listen to this really quick. You know, I'll look at the hi hats and everything else. Make sure it's on sync with the audio and everything looks good right now. All right, so let's go to the second take now. I'm gonna go over here, I'll double click. Go ahead, give it a quick watch. All right, so let's go ahead, look at the audio, zoom all the way in, give it a quick listen. All right, starts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and set it in and go back to the video. Now that we have um, all camera takes right now synced up, um, I'm just going to go ahead and watch them really quick. Alright, everything is good. Let me make sure I need that track. Maybe jump a little bit. Alright, so next thing I like to do now is go ahead. I'm going to extend the song until it goes all the way to the beginning. Plus or minus to zoom all the way in. And there's the very beginning of the song. So let's go ahead and take the rest of these clips and do that as well with it until it snaps and now I want to take the whole thing and just drag it all the way to the beginning. Now that we have all our takes in this one sequence, um, depending on your computer you can have you know four to six, you know seven, eight, whatever. Um, just for my sake I like to keep it between four and six um, that way you know just things are just cleaner and simpler. Um, okay now that we have our multi-cam sequence set up let's go ahead and if I were, you know, working on an actual project, um, I would already have this set up, you know, but for the tutorial sake, let's just make the main sequence for our project. Um, so within our main sequence, which would be the music video itself, uh, 
I would take the audio song, just drag it all the way in, make sure you're at the very beginning. Okay, everything's playing. Um, next, just take your multicam sequence. And uh, I mean, here's a quick little thing. Make sure that this is highlighted. If this is not highlighted, you'll go to bring in your sequence and nothing is nested and nested and that is just craziness. All right, so let's make sure that, oh, see, we already got meltdown. All right, let's make sure that this is highlighted and let's take our sequence, drag it in, everything is nested. Uh, let's just mute this really quick. Give it a quick listen, make sure that the audio is in sync. And since everything was, you know, started at the very beginning of that sequence, these two line up with no problem. All right, next to allow us to go from one clip to the other, we need to right click and multicam and go to enable. And now when we right click, go to multicam, we have all our camera takes. Um, so just for a quick, you know, purpose, let's just go ahead, uh, take the cut tool, let's add some cuts. It's just blindly. All right. So we'll start on, you know, multicam angle one. And if you double click on it over here, all your takes will pop up. So you can sit and watch each take. Um, you know, I drop the resolution just to make it easier to watch and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, for this one, let's go. I'm going to hit the number two key, literally. Uh, let's go on this one. I'm going to hit the number three key. It'll change it to angle three. Um, or you can just go to multicam. Let's go back to uh, let's go to camera angle two. For here, I'm just gonna hit the number four key, and you know you can just chop it up. But I mean, I would sit back, watch it, you know, make sure the cuts are flowing, get your best camera angles and stuff like that. And in a normal music video, you'd have more of these multicam sequences nested, so you'd have three tracks that just have, you know, a good twelve camera angles and you know nested neatly in three little things so if you need to go back you can just easily you know stretch this out and it just makes life so much easier all right well thank you for watching this quick tutorial on a multicam edit um, like I said earlier I will make a more in-depth tutorial on a multicam edit because it can get really advanced and you can just do some really good stuff um, I hope this helps you out any questions post them below um, thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.